I don't know if you can tell behind me, but it is snowing. I got a comment on one of my videos yesterday. As you know, here on Copperhead Road Homestead, we have a lot of animals. Uh, we've got a lot of, uh, oh, by the way, here's some sorghum. Papa cut some of this the other day and gave it to the goats and the cattle. Uh, so uh, we're gonna save all this. And it looks like, interestingly enough, uh, that some more of it is coming up down here. I don't know if it's gonna live. It may or may not. Uh, down here at the bottom, you can see a little bit. Do you see down here? There's a little bit of green down there. We gave some of that to the goats and the cows yesterday. As you know, we have a lot of animals here. We have all sorts of poultry, uh, ducks and chickens and geese and guineas, but we also have goats and pigs and cattle. I got a comment on one of my videos yesterday. It was the one about castrating a pig. Said that he hopes that, uh, <laughs> that I die, that I should go to be a vegan. I'm a scumbag and he hopes that I die and I come back as an animal, that the same thing happens to me. Here's the pigs, you see them? Do you see the snow falling down around me too? Anyway, I gave him, <laughs> I got shocked. But I sent him a link to a, uh, uh, an article that said that veganism is actually worse for animals than, you know, than eating animals. When you grow all sorts of food, when you grow all sorts of vegetables, a lot of people will uh, put fences up, they'll spray pesticides and herbicides. Uh, they'll do all this different stuff in order to keep the deer out and everything uh, and there's a lot of deforestation. When you have regenerative agriculture and rotating your animals, we're going to use this area next year for something else. When you do it this way, it's actually better for the earth, it's better for the animals, and they live a good life. I've got some hay out here. You see all this hay? There was some old hay on the property that we just bought that the previous owners left and it was too bad for us to feed to the animals. But there was still some good in here. Uh, they're rooting around in it and getting some good stuff out of it, making some nests out of it and stuff like that. We also have some shelter over here for them and they often huddle together in order to stay warm. But we got these pigs here and then those over there. Probably gonna be getting rid of these mini pigs soon, like I've already told you. No, in some ways it might seem cruel to eat these animals, but uh, in a lot of ways, that's just part of the process. They live really good lives. And unless they're males, they only have one bad day in their life and that's slaughter day. And the males, they have two bad days. That's castration day and slaughter day. Except for Henry, of course. Henry is, uh, is whole, he's not been altered. We care about our animals here and we have these and I'll walk over and show you the cows in just a minute as well. So it definitely is chilly out here, but the worst part of it isn't really the cold. The cold is unpleasant, uh, but the wind, it's a little windy out here, and that's definitely cold and unpleasant. I'm walking over here to the high tunnel. It's over here behind me this way, and it is a little chilly in there today because uh, the sun isn't out. If the sun was out, then it wouldn't be quite as cold in there. It'd be kind of warm in there, actually, especially when you step in and step back out. It feels really warm in there and colder out here then. There isn't any wind in here uh, because we've got the sides down that keeps the wind out. So all those starts that were over here, I've got them in the ground. So right here is some Swiss chard, some Brussels sprouts, some broccoli, some cabbages, and a couple little lettuces here. And actually that dill I went ahead and planted over here as well, just planted everything got in the ground. So far we're doing okay in here. This thermometer says it's 34 outside. Uh, that's over in front of my house and it's 48 degrees in here. But that's plenty to keep it, uh, you know, things growing in here and prevent the frost that's happened. And we had a couple of frosts or had a frost a couple of nights ago. Things are going really well in here. We're just, you know, trying to figure it out. Let me show you my starts from the Texas boys too. Here are these cuttings. Over here are the mulberries. Uh, and these are the fig that I got from the Texas boys, the Celeste and the Alma. And then after I did that, I went ahead and came into my front yard food forest and made some cuttings off of my brown turkey figs. Some of them, I don't know how well you can see from that distance, uh, but some of them are leafing out a little bit. Now, that's really good. I've got it on this heating pad right here and I open this up every day to keep it from getting moldy in there. All the leaves have died off of all these plants up here, the black locust. Uh, we still have some leaves on the Arbor Vitae over there, but they're evergreens. It is officially fall. We're only a few weeks away from winter time, I guess. So around December 21st. That'll be here before you know it. The comfrey over here next to my blueberries are still doing okay as well. I've been cleaning up around this uh, utility pole too where all those elderberries are. Those are wild elderberries, not a named variety like I got from the Texas boys. And then like I've told you and most of you already knew if you've been following our channel very long, uh, we got our cattle back here. We really care for them. We do have a couple of steers that we are gonna butcher here in the next year probably so. We care about our animals.
animals, and we don't do it because we're cruel, we don't do it because we're unfeeling, we do it because that's just part of the system here. We have this system where we rotate things around, or we're growing our vegetables, where meat is a part of our diet. It's not because we're cruel at all, uh, and many of you can understand that. Uh, we're not trying to be inconsistent uh, at all. They are part of the process, and they do have good lives here. But then, at the end of it, they're at our dinner. Here are our cattle. It's part of our process, part of our whole plan. If you like things like this and explaining how we feel about this, keep following our channel. We're gonna keep doing more things like this. Keep on following and you know, watch what we're doing. Uh, we do a new video every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and a live stream on Sunday night on YouTube at 8 p.m. Central Time. And we'd love to have you at something like that. Thanks.